All right, here's another boiler. I think it's my 32nd boiler, something like that. 20 inch diameter. Uh, the boiler itself is uh, 38 inches tall. With the firebox. Pop off valve set at 100 and it goes off at that. There's an injector on this one, which is kind of rare for me. Seems to work really well as long as the water level is above the injector. Of course, there's a hand pump. Best hand pump on the market. And a really nice steam whistle, which I'll blow here in a minute. Look at this gauge. Monster. That was a real find. Here's the whistle. I'll blow that. Oh, turn down your volume. And a blower. So it draws air up through the fire. Ash falling down here. Of course you gotta have steam pressure to do that. Draft door and ash fan. Realized hand turn parts on it. Tricot. Water sight glass. Oh, let's see, there's an engine outlet, of course, on it. It's a half inch uh, pipe thread right here for running a large steam engine. So, uh, and going down below the injector here is a drain and fill kind of tight but I had to put it that low and in this one there's a uh, bleed off valve here for the pump in case there's an air lock so when you see water coming out of that valve you know that the pump is primed and it uh, won't have an air lock in it moves a lot of water even 100 pounds of effort yes, it's very easy a lot of leverage on it of course you see the water go up in the glass uh, overall height of it is 80 inches to the top of the stack and the base is 20 28 inches square the base and there's copper tubes in it, rolled in. No leaks at all. Runs great. Right at 100 where it's set. Okay, I'm running this uh, injector here. And I'm cooling it right now, just letting some water siphon through it because it gets a little hot when it's this close to the boiler. So I'm going to turn on the steam valve to it. See if it'll pick up. Okay, so it's running fine now. There's a little trickle coming out the overflow. But as you can see, the little container is going down. All that water is going into the boiler. Sight glass over there, probably going up. And pour some more water into here. Huh? So still taking it, and you've got to have about 60 minimum of 60 pounds of pressure, which is down below 60 now. So it'd be better to be up in an 80 range before you run it, because the uh, lower the boiler pressure less water will go through it. I'm going to build that again. So I've got to let it heat up here. That's just a little bit of water siphoning through from the little container here. 